On this video, I'm going to show you how to organize your camper from the Dollar Tree. Let's get started. I'm Bill. I'm Kelly. And this is our This adventure. is our adventures. Oh. Here we go. This video kind of goes with the other video about what you would need on the inside of your camper. And when I first bought my camper, I went to the Dollar Tree and bought all the organization stuff you could for the camper. They have tons of baskets, tons of organizing stuff, and I'm going to show you how I use it in our camper. In a camper, because you're driving down the road, you want everything in baskets and secure as you can. Because, I don't know if you're like me, but when I leave, my pantry is full. When we come back, it's a lot of times empty. Which means if I didn't have all these baskets that kept stuff contained, stuff would be going everywhere. So I absolutely love filling my whole pantry as tight as I can with baskets. That way you can put stuff in every basket and it keeps it from flying around and jumping all over the place. Some of my favorite ones on the front are these with the handle. I did get these at the Dollar General and but they were only a dollar. But when I went to the Dollar Tree, they have these. This is their style and this was the Dollar General's. But they're both a dollar. I feel like the Dollar Tree ones are a little more sturdy than the Dollar General ones. But hey, for a dollar, I guess you really can't complain. But I like them because when you put them in here, they hook on the front of this and they don't fling around. I wouldn't suggest this for like your big drawers, but like your small drawers, you can get, and see this goes with my color scheme because my color scheme is a teal and lime green. So it works, but for the small drawers, you can buy this at the Dollar Tree. There's not a ton of it on this roll, but it still, it works and it keeps your drawers clean. And because it's a little bit of, um, what you call it on there? It's a little rough. <laughs> It'll hold stuff in place. But another trick, if you want, if you don't want to put that in your drawer and you want to make sure your baskets don't fly around, they make this, it's poster tack tape that you get at the Dollar Tree and you can just take a little dime size and put it on the bottom of your baskets and then that keeps them from scooting around as well. So that's another good little trick to keep them in place. Now don't mess this up with the museum putty that I used to put my lamps down. That's totally different. I don't know that I would trust this to hold my lamps and you can get that other off of Amazon and it's not terribly bad. Even like these are like great little things to hold stuff because you can stand stuff up. I put like a lot of my mixes and stuff like that. I'll put that in here and keep them in my pantry. I got this silverware holder at the Dollar Tree that I use. Also, my spice drawer. I like, even in my drawers, I like to have all my baskets. But these right here are pretty neat to keep. They uh, they fit in one of these little black ones that you get at the Dollar Tree. They Four of them fit perfect. And then I just write on top of them what they are. They don't have any, uh, like, it would be more of stuff that you can pour out. It doesn't have, like, a grade on it. But they work for, like, salt, pepper, stuff that... Maybe you just got extra of. But all my drawers, I keep the little, bas the little baskets in them so that you can just organize stuff. Even under my sink, I have everything in baskets. And I even got this at the Dollar Tree. It's like a pot rack or something. But I keep Reynolds wrap and my, all that. And it just keeps it from... But it keeps it from moving around. Also, these here baskets 
they come from the Dollar Tree. And I have every cabinet I have has either those baskets or these, which these have dry erase that you can write on them, but it comes off really easily. But I have them in all of my cabinets, so everything can be separated. Even these over here, like, I got four of them right there to put stuff in. Now, I don't have stuff in all of these because Grand Design has a ton of storage space. And I don't need all of it because we don't full-time, but I love having all this space in case I want to add some stuff. Again, all my drawers have this. And I love these. They're little, they have little lids on them. And they come from the Dollar Tree. And you can put like small things in it or things that are going to leak. I keep like my, uh, my Glade plug-ins and stuff when we're traveling. I keep them in here. So that way if they do leak, they're contained inside of this. Again, all Dollar Tree baskets. And everything is sorted and kept separate. Also another thing at the Dollar Tree you can get is they have these little wire shelves because a lot of times you can't use all of the shelf space and these are just a dollar and they can like give you extra storage up above stuff which helps a lot and you can see here in this one i've used another one and that way you can put stuff up underneath it and you got room up above as well in the bathroom in the bathroom the Dollar Tree is another great place for organization. These here, and I left the, the label on them, these are fridge storage bins and they fit perfect in this cabinet over the sink. And then you can just keep all your stuff in it so that it doesn't fall out when you open the door. But those are great. And here's another place. I used another one of the little shelves and we don't, we didn't, when I did mine, I did not put the toilet paper holder on the wall because like there's no good place, I don't think, for it. So I just got this little basket and I keep my little spare rolls in here. And then when we get somewhere, I'll just sit it up here and then I'll throw them back in there when we get ready to leave. And again, this is not all, well, this is not Dollar Tree, that's Dollar General, but I have put four baskets in here. That way you can just pull stuff out as you need it. And also you could use the stack in here as well to get higher, to get more room so you can use this. Because to me, I wish I had a way better organization idea for this. Because to me, there's so much wasted space in there. My arm's not that long. But at least having the baskets, I can take the baskets out and put them back. Also, I don't know if I want to use that one. <laughs> we don't have all our clothes and stuff in here, but I put these baskets from the Dollar Tree still inside our dresser drawers. That way, like socks can go in some, underwear can go in some, and then it still stays organized and separated and it's not all mixed up and it just gives a great divider. Also inside my closet I get these big square baskets because they can push back here and then I can put like shorts or just different things and they're back there out of the way and you don't have to worry about them flying because it does not come off of here. I mean like I would have to pick it up but there's like a little lip here and I've never had these come flying out, but it's a great little place to use that space back there that to me is a weird space. And you have to excuse Bill's mess here. That's going to be the video for next week. Wine guard. We, uh, our satellite wine guard quit working and he has been troubleshooting it. And we've been videoing that and he thought he figured it out and it didn't work. So it's to be continued. He's finishing getting some stuff today so that we can finish that video. Searching it, trying to find out what was going on. So we wanted to make a video for y'all. At the uh, Dollar Tree, my favorite, favorite totes 
are these. They're like the great, I mean like, for a dollar, they're really good quality and they have like the rubbery stuff in the bottom of them. And these even have like little rubber grommets on the bottom, like that keep it from sliding around. So these are like one of my favorite ones from the Dollar Tree. They make them in the big ones and then you get a little two pack in the smaller ones so that they can fit in. Oh, let me show you how I fit these in my bathroom. In my drawers in the bathroom, which I don't have our stuff in here right now, but I keep like, these is two that I keep here and then one here. That way I can just throw stuff in here. But you see how I've got them in here, which these, I think I got them at Dollar General or I don't know where I got these at. But it just kind of keeps organized everything you need and keeps it all separate. They also have these really big baskets right now that fit in our big drawers. But it just kind of keeps everything organized. Like I said, I absolutely love putting baskets everywhere. You really don't, or for me, and this may be a personal opinion, but I do not like putting anything in the RV that is not secured into a basket of some sort because otherwise they're just going to roll around and it's going to jump all over the place while you're traveling. Another cool little thing, as I found at the Dollar Tree, are these. I've got our um, pins in them, but you can put like all kinds of little stuff in them. And I've, these are my pins for my push pins for my travel map. But I, there's so many little things that you can put in here. And they're just great little organization. And again, keeps things contained because in an RV, you need to keep it contained. Also, I just want to make sure you know that I just turned the oven on. <laughs> also, just remember... The Dollar Tree usually has like lime green, yellow. They have all those bright colors. But if that's not, I mean, these are hidden inside cabinets and doors. But if you don't like the color, you can get by spray paint and spray them. Just do it in very light coats and then it won't run and they'll look great and they'll work. It would be in another color scheme if you need it to be. Oven on again. I'm going to have to stand in a different place. I keep turning the oven on. Baskets are great ways to organize your camper. And at the Dollar Tree, there are so many different varieties, sizes. Also, I want to go ahead and tell you, my favorite baskets, too, are ones that are square. Just because they don't take up as much space. Like, there's some of them. The ones that are, like, square-sided, like, up and down, that way you get the full use of the space. Where if you get the ones that are angled, you lose some of the space. So I like the ones that are as straight up and down as you can find. I hope that you got some ideas going in your head if you're starting to organize your camper. The Dollar Tree is the perfect place to go and look. And remember, go and look in the whole Dollar Tree because there might be stuff in another section that you wouldn't think about that you could use in your RV. Oh, another thing, which I talked about this in the other video, but that comes from the Dollar Tree, since we're talking about Dollar Tree items, is the plastic mats. They need to be, you put them in the back of your freezer, and when you get ready to defrost it, it is so easy. You just pull the frost off of this and it's not behind it. As you know, I had a little anxiety from my video from last week about booking a trip, but we got it booked. And you know, after I did it, I was happy that I did it and I'm ready to go now. So the end of this month, it's we're leaving May 30th through June the 6th. We're going to go stay at Mimar, Mim, Miramar. Miramar. <laughs> Why is everything so hard to pronounce? We're going to stay at Miramar at the Destin RV Resort. It looks really nice, and we got the last spot they have. So we'll let you know how that is. We've got this video that I'm putting up, and then the next video is going to be about the Wingard, Wingard, Wingard. Bill, I keep calling it Wingard. Bill calls it Wingard, but it says Wingard on it. 
So the next video, hopefully, will be fixing the, the wine guard. He just got off the phone with them, but I'll let him talk to you all about that next week. I hope that you're enjoying our videos. I know right now we're not getting to travel as much, but we are getting our campers all organized and getting ready so that when we're ready to travel again, it is time to go. Please like and subscribe and thank you to everyone that has subscribed and became part of our family. Till next time.